Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson, we are going to multiply in columns the standard way. That is the usual common way. And you have already learned the easy way of multiplying. And now we are studying the more usual way. Let me remind you first with this problem about the easy way. 74 times 8. And we went 8 times 4, 32. And then 8 times 70. 8 times 70, 560. And we add it. Now, in the standard way, this addition is done at the same time as we're multiplying. So there's going to be less to write here. And you'll see, it goes like this. 8 times 4, 32 again. But I only write 2 here. And the 30, the 3 tens, are regrouped over there in the tens column. So there's three tens waiting for us, but now we will multiply the tens. 8 times 7, which is 8 times 70. We know that it means 8 times 70. But when we're using this algorithm, we just think of it as 8 times 7, 56, plus 3, 59. 8 times 7, plus 3. Okay, so we get 59, and that's written over here. So when we multiply the tens, Right after that, we add those three tens that were regrouped. See, these three tens, they are added. So the addition 3 plus 56 is done in the mind and written here as 59. Okay, let's go on. Practice some more. 49 times 6. But first, we're going to estimate. How would you estimate 49 times 6? Oh, Matty knows? Yeah, of course, you round this to 50, okay? 50 times 6. So our answer should be close to 300. Then over here, 6 times 9, 54. I write 4 here, and the 50, the 5 tens, are regrouped or carried over here in the tens column. Then the tens, 6 times 4, plus 5. So we get 24 plus 5. 29. Well done. And yes, it is close to 300. Now let's do the same with a three-digit number. And for comparison, I will first do it the easy way over here. Okay? 5 times 7 was 35. 5 times 30 would be 150. And 5 times 200 is 1000. That's our easy way. And lastly, we added 5, 8, 1, 1. And now the standard way, so to speak, which is like compacted from this. It has the same calculations, the same multiplications and additions, but the additions are done in between. 5 times 7, 35. And the three tens are regrouped. And then the tens, 5 times 3 plus 3. So that's 15 plus 3. That's 18. And we need to regroup again. The 18, only 8 gets written here. The 1 is regrouped with the hundreds. And then the hundreds, 5 times 2 plus 1. So we get 10 plus 1. That's 11. Okay, I hope you followed me. It is not difficult. Next one, we have four digits. The idea is the same. We will multiply and then regroup. And then multiply and add, regroup. Okay, just repeat that. First, let's estimate 3702 times 6. The easiest way to estimate this is probably if I just round that number to the nearest thousand. So I would round it to 4000 times 6, and my estimate would be 24,000. Okay, then over here. 6 times 2 is 12, but the 10 is regrouped. Then in the tens, 6 times 0 plus 1. So there's 0 plus 1, that is just 1. So now there is no regrouping, there's just 1. So then I just go to the hundreds, 6 times 7, 42. 2 here, 4 is regrouped. And lastly, 6 times 3 plus 4. So I get 18 plus 4, 
22,212. Just one more problem for this lesson. One more multiplication like that. 4,872 times 3. Let's estimate first. Round this number to the nearest thousand. So we get 5,000 times 3. 15,000 is our estimate. Okay. Now, you can try it on your own before I do it, right? 3 times 2 is 6. There is no regrouping. I just go on. 3 times 7, 21. Okay, 21 means 1 here, 2 regrouped into the hundreds. 3 times 8 plus 2. So that's 24 plus 2. 26. Again, only 6 goes here. The 2 is regrouped with the thousands. 3 times 4 plus 2. 12 plus 2 is 14. So we get 14,616, close to our estimate. All seems to be well. Lastly, we get to review something that you should know well. Area and perimeter. Find the area and perimeter of a pool that measures 9 meters by 25 meters. Oh, that makes me feel like jumping in. Don't you think, Matthew? Yeah, he wants to jump in too. Ooh. Come back, come back. Okay, anytime we have a geometry problem, it's good to sketch a picture. So let's draw here a rectangle that would be 9 meters by 25 meters. Then the perimeter first. How did you do that? How did you calculate the perimeter? P is perimeter. You go all the way around the figure and add. So we would have 9 meters plus 25 meters plus 9 meters plus 25 meters. 9 and 25 is 34, double that, 68 meters. Then the area, for area, you multiply the side lengths. So, 9 times 25, and we can now use our skill of multiplying like that in columns. Okay, 9 times 5. 45. I hope you did it too. 9 times 2 plus 4. 18 plus 4, 22. Okay, so the area is 225. And the unit here too, we need to always remember the square meters, not just leave it as a plain number. Okay? I hope this was an easy lesson. We're all done with it.